Hi everyone, I'm Gabby, data analyst for BT Provider, and today I was thinking about talking to you about bad data. Yep, data comes in all shapes and sizes and well, of course, different quality, which sometimes proves to be quite a bit of a challenge. Just imagine you have to work with some surveys results whose questions and verdicts are populated horizontally along the length of the table, or maybe you encounter duplicated values and rows, maybe you encounter a lot of misspell values in the column. All of this poor data you enter will impact your visualizations and sometimes generate misleading information. As we like to say it, bad data in, bad data out. So this is why today we will talk about data preparation, specifically the process of cleaning dirty data, restructuring and combining sets of data, and all of this in an effort to optimize the data source before starting your uh, development activities and dashboards. In this endeavor, you know Tableau has got you covered. So with the introduction of Tableau Prep Builder, which is a rather cool data preparation tool, it has captivating, easy to use visuals. It's intuitive. The, the interface is nice and honestly, it's just fun to work with. So I'll just show you a few simple, but very powerful use cases with cleaning and restructuring your data in an easy way. You know, we have the connectors that you are used to from Tableau. At the moment, I'm connected to the global superstore data, which is available to us from Tableau. And I've dragged onto my flow pane the orders. In order for us to start our cleaning process, I've also added a clean step. And in this clean step on the left side, we will be able to track all of the changes that we did. And on the right side, we can see all of our columns, the different types, what kind of entries we have. We can see at a glance the percentage of total for the specific entry. We can scroll to the right to see all the columns that we have. And if, for example, we don't need any columns, let's say for, for this type of analysis that I'm doing, I won't be needing the discount and the profit. It's so easy that we just select them and then we can hide them if maybe we will need them afterwards. But if I'm sure that I won't be needing any type of analysis on the profit or discounts, I can just remove the fields and that's it. I already have the information on the left side. So, so going over the columns we have, a really good use case for us is specifically when we notice this market column. It has some issues with the Europe, Middle East and Africa entry. You see the misspelling in some of the entries, which generates specific extra rows because most of the entries are fine. So we need all the entries to be OK. In this uh, endeavor, Tableau will help us to group all these, these values. So we just group them by we can select the manual selection so we can tell each of the entries where to go. We can group them according to their pronunciation, common characters. And what I will choose today is I will choose to group according to the spelling. So you see Tableau already has a group here. We can see the paper clip for the group. And then when I click on it, I can see exactly which are the entries which that Tableau Prep specifically decided that will be grouped into this um, market. So yeah, totally agree with it. I will just click done and that's it. We have our column, which is nice and clean and ready to be analyzed. Now, let's say that my business owners have a better grasp of the customer ID when they only use the number portion of the ID. So, for example, in this situation, my customer ID has also some letters inside, but I would like to split this so I can give them the opportunity to work as they are used to, just with the number portion. So that's also fairly easy. You just split the values. You have a custom split where you can decide what type of character or what type of um, syntax to use to split them. But I'll just go ahead and use the automatic split that Tableau is giving me. So you see from my customer ID, I get two columns, separated columns, one with the first part. So the split was according to the line and then one with the second part, which is the number that I want. I know it's a number, but I use it as an ID, so I will need to use it as a string. So I can decide if I keep the customer, but I know 
it won't be any need for it which means I will remove the extra column and maybe rename the name rename the new column created let's call it customer unique okay now once we decided that we have everything that we need we can go ahead and check our columns and for example if i want to further use one of my city columns in the visualization which is a map i can easily change the role from the string we can see that the data type is string but i can also directly add an automatic automatic role for it so it it can have a geographic role of a city. So it's directly linked to the geographic role for when I would need it further on into my analysis to build a map or a specific other type of visualization that includes a map. So for my next twist use case, I'll just bring the returns tab into the flow pane. I just wanna see if the data needs any adjustments at this point. We'll just bring it and drag it and drop it here. I can already see that something is not to my liking, but I'll go ahead and add a clean step. And yep, it does. You see how the um, separate columns that I have for, for the returns, we have the market and the order ID, but then each of the month has a separate column of the quantity which is returned. And Honestly, maybe I would like to have a visualization of a line chart to see the seasonality, to see different types of um, quantities return and so on and so forth. So this will not going to help me a lot. So Tableau Prep has the possibility to select all of these columns. I'm just holding the shift key down to make sure that I'll select all the columns. And you can see them all with a um, blue border. So this means all of them are selected. And what I want to do is I'll just pivot them. So I'll just click on pivot columns to rows. And you see immediately Tableau Prep will add another pivot step to my um, flow here. And what we get is the names of all of those column headers and the values that we'll get here. Of course, I'll rename them and I'll call them something which is helpful to me, like um, return date. And I don't know, return quantity. We can already see the data transformed here, but I can additionally add another clean step. And I can easily see now that I have my return date um, in one column, I want to simplify it and I want to make it a date column. Okay, so that's really easy to do. And then I have my return quantity and all of the rest, the rest of the columns, those three columns which I haven't used, they're perfectly fine as they are. I just drag them along until I am done with the rest of my cleaning steps and the rest of my analysis. So once everything is done from here, we'll just output all of the data that we needed. So you can output the data in a specific file. Like if you would want to see it in an Excel file, you can publish it as a Tableau published data source on the Tableau server or cloud, or you can write in a database. So there's, there's plenty of things that you can do with your clean data and use it afterwards. So that was it. This is our skill pill for today. Thank you so much and see you next time.